This event has been amazing, and I, I tell you what, it's so overwhelming to see how many people come out to support. First of all, the firefighters that get together, they cook, they do all this crazy stuff, they, they give us a chance to, to be a firefighter for a day and to pull that wagon and crank the hoses out and get dressed and do all these crazy things, but we're raising money. And that's the good news. This is our largest fundraiser of its kind of the nation for the fire department. And this is LAFRA, which is a relief association. They are the beneficiary that maintain the fund. All the funds go into a pool for them. And this is their largest event of the year. Anytime they, they say, you know, whenever I need them, I, I say help. And they say, bam, we're there. So whenever the firefighters say, we need your help, I'm there. Old fashioned firefighter muster games. We have three games. We have the old-fashioned hose cart pull, which is how they used to put out fires. Okay, we always see who's gonna, if the teams aren't doing too good and somebody you know, falls down on one of the teams, they just douse each other and they start throwing, you know, it's a water fight. We have the bucket brigade because before the hose carts, they had to put them out, they changed for them to bucket brigade, put out the fires. You have to fill the bucket up with water and get it to the other side as, with as much water as possible to fill up a trash can at the end to win. And we have the suit up and life net where they put on the fireman's turnouts and put on the helmet and grab a life net and save an animal falling from the sky. So it's just a great group of the guys that come out and try to be firefighters for a day and see what these guys do on a daily basis. We're playing to win, so we're doing them all right here. And we brought out some of our best. We brought our young intern out from Bourbon Day High School. We're at Brookfield Properties. We own Bank of America right here. So you guys are gonna play big today. Oh, That's we're right. Playing to win. Playing to win. I think the best part is that we're giving back to people in need. We're giving back to firefighters, to widows, and it's a good event. I want them to feel that they are donating for a great cause. These guys risk their lives every day. When, when a fire starts, we run out of a structure, and these guys run in, not knowing if it's going to be their last day putting on their boots or not. So what we're, it's just a little thank you from us saying we appreciate what you do. It started in 1998 with the uh, crash of Air 3 and we lost uh, all those firemen and the little girl that that uh, they were trying to transport. Uh, we were doing a fundraiser here at the building for the tenants and whatnot and uh, we invited the uh, fire department down. My favorite part is all these amazing businesses that once a year say to their employees, hey, go down, enjoy the festivities, spend your money on the booths, buy the food, let's have some lunch, take a couple of hours, and, and let's all be a big, happy fireman family. And the people that came out of the buildings were so grateful. I had firemen come up to me with tears in their eyes, said, nobody's ever done anything like this for us before. Every news agency gets out here, it's on the news. I'd like to show good stories. And I think they need to show this to everybody so everybody in LA City understands what these guys do for them. Hopeforfirefighters.org is the website. Check it out and you can always donate afterwards. But still, this is the event that we put together every year. First Thursday in June every year. And it's just an amazing event.